gusts last week. The storm is expected to impact Oklahoma and Arkansas as it continues to head north. Just incredible, some of the images we're seeing of this devastation. Tony, are we going to see any remnants of this storm, like moisture or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, good point. I would say, uh, Kayla, indirectly, some of that tropical humidity may help to act as fuel for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. This would be for later in the work week. In the meantime, the, the bigger weather story in the short term remains the heat and the humidity. Looking at Providence right now with temperatures that have settled back into the upper 80s after reaching 90 in the city. Of course, the beaches, now the beaches are quite warm, just not as is hot. Now the water temperature is refreshing. It's uh, 72 degrees. So that's one way to find relief. We'll step out of the way. Now keep in mind, if you have beach plans for tomorrow, anytime you get very high humidity like this, nine times out of 10, you're going to start the day off at the beaches during the morning with clouds and fog. So check our beach cameras on our website, WPRI.com. So, you, you know, if you're in Providence and it's sunny and maybe still foggy down along the coastline, so check that web camera to see if the fog has lifted it and probably will take until late morning tomorrow at the beaches for the fog to burn off. It's in the upper 80s to around 92 in Taunton, 87 in Providence, 89 Smithfield, low to mid 80s along the South Shore. You toss in that very high humidity, feels warmer. That's the heat index. Threat tracker is low for tonight. Back up to uh, an alert for tomorrow. The heat advisory continues for day two for inland areas away from the coastline. The actual air temperature, upper 80s to near 90. I don't see like 95, 96 degrees for like an actual air temperature temperature more like 88 89 maybe briefly 90 but with the humidity so high these feel like temperatures are going to run in the mid to upper 90s very warm and humid uh, but quiet weather on Wednesday so what's left of barrel now a tropical storm in eastern Texas winds of 45 the bigger bigger concern now in terms of impacts flooding rains in this area and some of that remnant moisture tracking north and east through the Great Lakes and then into upstate New York by Thursday and Friday so well away from New England but out ahead of it just helping to enhance uh, tropical humidity, which may help to fuel scattered showers and thunderstorms in that Thursday, Friday time frame. So this barrel off to our south, up and down, really the eastern third, eastern half of the country, all this dark shading of green, high dew points, very high humidity. And while temperatures will cool gradually by the middle and the end of the week, cooling meaning like 85 degrees, the humidity is not going anywhere. It will stick around the high humidity levels the entire week. So if you're not a fan of this, uh, you know, Florida-like high humidity, It'll stick around for quite a while this week. All right, high temperatures tomorrow, upper 80s to briefly near 90 inland and lower 80s along the south shore. We do start the day with clouds and fog in the morning early, especially along the coastline. That'll thin to hazy sunshine, 11 a.m., 84. Keep in mind, these are inland temperatures. Upper 80s to briefly near 90 with the high humidity tomorrow with hazy sunshine. Coastal temperatures, the beaches in the lower 80s. And again, better part of the morning, clouds and fog along the uh, south shore. It may take until 12 noon at the beaches for the sun to come out. And even then it would be kind of the hazy sun. Air temperature upper 70s to low 80s. Bay forecast, you've got reduced visibility, both Buzzards and Eric Hansen Bay on the south shore due to the fog, but lifting uh, by noontime. All right, seven day forecast, hot and humid for tomorrow. Very warm and humid the rest of the week. The chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms start to increase. We're not talking like all day washouts, but the risk is there starting Thursday and continuing into Friday and perhaps even into Saturday morning. Temperatures by the end of the week in the uh, mid 80s, but uh, humidity sticking around uh, for a better part of the week. All right, Tony, thank you. Still ahead.